Hey guys, it is Michelle and I am here filming a quick February 2014 TBR video. I've never done a TBR video. I'm usually a very impulsive reader, but February's books were pretty much structured, so here I am with a TBR list. I have three books on the list for my bookriot.com's Read Harder Challenge 2015. I'm still in the middle of some 40 Tales of the Afterlives, which is a collection of short stories. I'm reading one a day and I started in on January 1st, so I will wrap that up in mid-February and let you know what I thought in the end. Also for that same challenge is Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern, and that's a YA novel about two misfits in high school uh, who fall in love and sounds like a lot of fun. That's a YA novel, um, which is why it was on that list. Strings and Bones is also for that challenge, and this is a book from an indie press. It's about a young woman who can communicate with the dead and they want her to deliver messages to the living and so she starts to question her sanity and sounds like it could be fun. For my digital TBR project, the book that uh, I selected out of the three it randomly generated uh, for the physical books was Sabine's Notebook. This is the second in a trilogy that I picked up at a used bookstore, did not know it was a trilogy and it had a cliffhanger. So I wanted to hunt this book down. It should be a very quick read, which is awesome because I think there are 2,100 pages plus on my February TBR. We'll see if I can handle it. As far as my uh, downloaded books, the random number generator, uh, one of the books it picked was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which was fabulous because that also matches what one of my Goodreads groups is reading in January and February, and that's The Little Book Club, hosted by Little Book Owl. So looking very forward into jumping into those discussions. Starting around the 14th or 15th, Charlotte from Ramblings of an Elf Pyre and I are going to read The First 15 Lives of Harry August. Now Harry keeps living the same life over and over, kind of like Groundhog's Day, but in the 11th life, uh, someone tells him something at the very end that allows him to change things going forward. So it sounds fascinating, and we're both looking very forward to reading that together. One day, my YouTube subscription box exploded with the announcement of a year of Cosmere, and I am so excited. I love what I have read of Brandon Sanderson, and this kind of Goodreads group read-along type thing is just going to be fabulous. They are reading Final Empire, the first book in the Mistborn trilogy, in February, and I can't wait. Um, I already know I will absolutely love it. And lastly on the list is Marley's Ghost, so if one has to give, it will probably be this. But last year, around February, I read a kind of a love-related book and wanted to repeat that experience this year. This is a Christmas carol twisted into a Valentine's story. It is authored by David Levithan and illustrated by Brian Selznick, so I found that fascinating. If I can squeeze in one more book in February, I will try to make it The Girl on the Train, which is kind of a suspenseful, messing with other people's lives type YA book that came out uh, in January and I've already downloaded. So that's what I am reading. What are you going to read? If you're interested in reading along with any of these, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.